Hey everybody, Simple Duck here, and today I'm bringing you a product review of some amazing video recording software. Uh, it's the recording software that I use to make all my videos, and to be perfectly honest, I've used other programs out there and haven't liked any of them nearly as much as I like this one. And without this program, I wouldn't be able to bring you guys the videos that I do, so I wanted to show it to you tell you how much I liked it and uh, actually at the end of this I'm going to give away a couple copies of it so stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you how but actually here let me go ahead and show you the program there we go had it on another screen uh, this is the program it's called action and it's from a company called Marillus in this program is amazing. I'm going to take you through the different screens that it has here, uh, the different tabs, and tell you a little bit about some of the features. But uh, here, we'll start with this one. The tab we're on right now is the video recording tab. You can see it says that right here. And one of the big things with this program that I love that makes it very different from something like Fraps is that you can do different recording modes. Uh, this one here will record games. As you can see, it says... Uh, DirectX or OpenGL. This uh, this button here will record your desktop, and this one here will do screen regions. So if you just want to record a small portion of your screen, you can do that too. Uh, you can do AVI or MP4. You can record in different video sizes, so you can choose 1080, 720. Uh, so if you play your game at 1080, but you only want to record at 720, you can do that. Same thing here with the frame rate. Um, when I play when I play WoW, I typically run around 100, 120 frames per second, but I only record at 60. So I'm recording at 60 frames, but something like Fraps would actually lock my game's frame rate to 60 frames per second. Also, Action doesn't do that. Action will record 60 frames per second, but still let me play at 120 so I love that love that love that uh, you can also obviously record your system sounds and a microphone and it'll also record in 5.1 or 7.1 if your game or your program that you're recording supports that uh, let's move on to the next tab here the next tab here is just for audio recording so you can use this just like uh, audacity you can record just audio if you want to, so you can use this to make podcasts if you needed. And it'll record in WAV or MP4 audio. You can set it to do certain durations, um, record silence, multi-channel. Uh, you can set it up instead of, for microphone, I have it set to always record. You can do don't record, or you can have it set to like a push to talk button. So that, very handy, and the quality is great. Uh, this tab does benchmarking. I actually have not used it before, but it gives you a little bit of information about your system specs, and uh, it'll benchmark your frame rates if you want to do that. This tab actually does screenshots, so you can set it up to save in different formats, PNG, JPEG, um, and you can set it up like I have multiple monitors, so I can set it up so that my screenshot area is uh, both monitors, one just desktop one or just desktop two, so nice feature there. And these are all your different settings. So uh, the general settings here, you know, pretty standard. Check for updates, start application with Windows, uh, that kind of stuff. You get your video recording settings. Uh, you get your video quality input range, which is kind of like your your color ranges. It'll make it brighter or darker. Um, multi-core recording that just helps boost the performance a little bit record mouse cursor you can turn that on and off if you don't want to see the mouse cursor um, you can actually do graphic overlays on the videos if you want to by clicking this here you select whatever file you want tell it where you want it where you want to put it click that button and as you record it will actually stick your little logo in the corner of the video so you can do that I don't use it just because I don't have a logo set up for the right size, but 
Who knows? Maybe someday I will. Uh, next one here. Audio settings. This is probably where I've spent the most amount of time playing with this program to get it just the right way. Um, your microphone, as you can see here, I use a blue snowball. And I've got the volume set to 100 on here. I've got it set up to record into a separate audio track so that when I put it into my recording software, uh, it's actually on a separate audio track from my game audio. So I can raise or lower the game volume separately from my voice. So if the voice is too high, I can bring it down without affecting the game sound. Uh, system sounds, it'll record whatever is going through my speakers. So for me, I don't actually have speakers, I have a headset, so uh, whatever is going to be played through my headset, that's what gets recorded. And then here, the audio balance, you can actually balance it out the way you want. So I have my system sounds set to 5 and my microphone at 95. And kind of the way it works here is like this. As I move one, the other moves. So it keeps a balance out of 100. And you can see how that keeps moving. Hopefully I didn't just affect my video when I, by doing that, but I guess we'll find out. Um, audio bitrate, system default, so whatever you have your, your sound card settings set to, it'll record that, or you can choose your own. This is actually a new feature that they just put into the program. So, I like that. Um, here you can just choose, it's got a little heads up display that shows you your frame rates and if you're recording and stuff. You can't see it now because it hides itself when, the, when you're uh, actually recording. But uh, you can choose where on the screen you want it to be. And uh, this, this is another, another big feature of this program is that you can export your videos. As soon as you finish recording, um, you can click a button and actually I'll uh, I'll go ahead and show this to you if I can. Let's see if it'll let me here. You can click this button, export selected file. Oh no, it put it on the wrong screen. You guys can't see it. It won't let me move it. No, oh, what's going on? Stop. Okay, well I'll just tell you about it. Okay, so what you can do is you can click on one of your videos, hit the export selected file, and what it'll do is it will render it out in MP4 format, which is pretty much the standard for uploading to YouTube. And uh, it'll render it out really fast, actually, save you file size. So if you want to cut down the file sizes, you can do that. Uh, but the main reason you can do that is you can see here it says upload settings. You can do remember password, automatically split files into parts that are 15 minutes if you want to, but the main thing that this is all used for is that you can upload videos directly from Action into YouTube or Facebook or wherever you want to upload videos pretty much. Uh, I don't particularly use that because I do a lot of editing on my videos, uh, but if you want to just record a quick video and then upload it straight to YouTube, you can do that with this program. Uh, but like I said, I don't particularly have any experience doing that yet, so I can't really show you how, because I haven't done it. Uh, you've got your different hotkeys, and you can change those if you want to. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much a, a quick run-through of the program here. Um, it's an amazing piece of software, and I don't know what I'd do without it. Also, ooh, one last thing. Uh, they are constantly putting out new updates for it, adding new features. It's sort of a big work in progress. Like I said in a previous video, uh, compared to a lot of other programs that are on the market, Action is kind of new. So they're constantly putting new features in and tweaking things and patching and it's, it's great. You're getting updates for it pretty often and there's always something new and exciting in it. And one of the features that they have said that they're going to add is streaming capability. Now I don't know if that means it's going to do streaming like DxTory or something like XSplit. I don't know. But it is coming in the future and if you guys are interested in this I will keep you up to date as I find out more information. Okay guys, now before I wrap this up 
Um, the folks over at Marillis were generous enough to give me a couple keys to give away to you guys. So I do have a couple copies of this program that I'm going to be giving away. Now if you want, what you can do is go over to uh, Marillis.com and you can get a free trial of this. And with the free trial, it gives you access to all the features. You get the entire full program with it. But it does leave a watermark on your videos. Uh, it's a good way to try it out and see if you like it. But if you have already seen it, or if you're just looking for a great piece of recording software and you are willing to take my opinion, I'd appreciate if you gave a thumbs up on this video. But leave a comment down below. Let me know that you're interested, and I will be picking winners randomly from the comments down below. So, I look forward to seeing your comments, and uh, until next time, guys, take it easy.